Hello, uh, everyone. My presentation entitled is about the research investigation for organic agriculture towards subterro development goals. I am Kasim Saitong from uh, Thailand. Most of the my research work over uh, 30 years ago, uh, mainly I have uh, supported by the International Foundation for Science or IFS Sweden for eight years, and after that, uh, uh, my this fund support by Third World Academy of Science from Italy, and from Russia, from China, from Philippines, from Vietnam and from Japan and also from Thailand uh, to support my research work uh, to find out the uh, biological products to be used instead of the toxic chemical pesticide or toxic chemical agriculture. So uh, in terms of the, we are doing a research uh, to find out the, micro, uh, the biological products uh, to be used as the agricultural input for organic production. Uh, it is the uh, one of the subterranean development goals is the, to maintain food safety and security to serve human beings for good health and long life. Organic agriculture would be paid attention in each country through making the strong policy by government and politicians as well as scientists, farmers, consumers. Organic agricultural production is non-toxic agrochemical application from the field products to the customer in the market. It is uh, a crucial period of changing from the conventional and chemical agriculture to organic agriculture. It serves the sustainable development goals toward clean technology which benefit for the world. Research and development in organic agriculture are urgently needed to investigate the biological products as the agricultural inputs for organic agriculture. Bioelimination products can be firstly applied to remove the contaminants, pollutants, toxic substance from soil and water, and also surrounding environment. Bio or microbial fertilizer with high nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, as well as other plant nutrients naturally inorganic substance provide to neutralize soil for proper plant growth and for plant uptake. Uh, like for example, lamb, dolomite, and other thing is uh, we talk about the biochar may also be provided the agricultural benefits to increase soil fertility and crop productivity. The bionutrients are used for plant growth and stimulation, provide the agricultural benefits uh, for the farmer. And the biofungicide are applied for disease control, uh, for example, ketomium, trichoderma, cleocadium, and others. Uh, uh, Bionematicide bio for nematode control are also uh, needed for the, the plant that infected by uh, root knot nematode or other species of nematode. Uh, mostly, we have been used the Pseudomyces Dactylella, Verticillium, Atobotis. Uh, the for insect control, the bio insecticide are used for repellent or kill specific insect, uh, like for example the uh, Metallicium bivalia, Aizelia. Uh, another thing is the very challenge of, of the our research investigation is about the biological herbicide for weed control. Uh, just, uh, using specific strain of the Collectoricum myloridium. And uh, now the bioridium herbicide is not really uh, coming out in practical field yet. Um, uh, anyway, uh, the other techniques would be indicated as the, uh, we, can have, we can use the uh, herbs or medicinal plant uh, for uh, disease control or for insect control. Uh, I mean use the plant extract and other techniques like control practice, crop rotation, intercropping, munching, organic amendment, solarization, wood wiker, pheromone, that I mean uh, natural pheromone, and insect tap. Uh, nowadays there are many samples that has successfully cultivated organic crop and delivering to supermarkets. Moreover, the organic agriculture include crop and animal production, 
ออร์แกนิกซีดโปรดักชันออร์แกนิกแอนิมอลฟีดออร์แกนิกฟู้ดโปรเซสซิ่งแอนด์โซออนล่าสุดเลยออร์แกนิกเซอร์ติฟิเคชันอีสเดอะมอสต์อิมพอร์แทนแอนด์เออร์เจนเออร์เจนลินดีเดตทูโปรโมทเดอะมาร์เก็ตดีมานแอนด์ทูการันตีโอทรัสต์โอลิไลบันฟอร์ดิคอนซูเมอร์แอสวีโนเนตดิออร์แกนิกโปรดักต์เดอะไพรส์วินบีไฮเดนเดอะเดอะเคมีคอลวันแอนด์เดอะวีอีฟวีทิงอับเดอะเดอะท็อกซิกเคมีคอลดัสเลสิโดนอินเดอะแอนด์เคโรโปรดักต์ดัตอิสมอร์เดนเดลัสทูอาวทูฮิวแมนบีอิงซูวีแคนเปย์มอร์ออกนิกฟู้ดคอนซูมในออกนิกฟู้ดไอทิงอิสวินบีเซฟตี้แอนด์เบตเตอร์แดนเพย์ฟอร์เมดิซินเมดิโกเดตเดตอิสแอนด์ทิ้งเอเวอรี่บอดี้โน่เวลีเวลอับบอว์ดิสวีทอล์กอับบอว์ดีอะโกเคมิคอลเดตมีนเดอะแอคเคอร์เจอร์เดตเดฮับบาเดฮับบินดานฟอร์ยีสเดฟาร์เมอร์เฮบบินยูสดีเคมิคอลฟอร์ติไลเซอร์เคมิคอลเปติไซส์แอนด์ Uh, after on, uh, we can see that that toxic chemical uh, not only uh, residue in the, the in the in the product, in vegetable, in fruits, and others, but also they destroy our environment, unbalances the ecosystem. So, uh, after for some time, most in most case in many country, I have been uh, visited. Uh, The insect pests and the pathogen will become resistant to those toxic chemicals, and let the farmer use more and more something like that. And uh, is the protection cost is increases, and at the same time the soil become low fertility. So we uh, overall we have to turn to the organic agriculture in present day and in the future. The sustainable development means saving energy to reserve the environment fairly, and to produce safety and healthy food. Agrochemical has been used uh, as the chemical fertilizer, pesticides, and other synthetic chemical for crop and animal production to increase yield in short time, but dangerous to human health and destroy our environment. Organic agriculture for sustainable development. Is a new practical technology to contribute the research finding of biological products for non-agrochemical production. Uh, if we looking from the history of agriculture, <coughs> over 100 years ago, the farmer had been um, used the chemical uh, fertilizer, uh, chemical pesticide, and all synthetic chemical to increase yield. And after for some time, the, we have known uh, that I said the most uh, important for human being is the toxic, uh, toxic chemical is less so in the in the products. So the consumer uh, or the let the human being get the disease like cancer, high blood pressure, and other heart disease and other. So the every country try to reduce or decrease the toxic chemical. Then. Uh, After that, they will check the uh, minimum uh, concentration of the those toxic chemical, not more than uh, uh, not more than standard. That they call GAP or good agricultural practice. That means uh, GAP or GAP, the, the vegetable and fruits and animal product still have the toxic chemical inside the cell, so it's not really. Guarantee that will be will be the safety. So the another step that the I like to see that the we call pesticide free production or PFP. Uh, pesticide free production that means the farmer really stop the app, stop to apply the uh, chemical pesticide. That means chemical herbicide, chemical uh, insecticide, and chemical uh, fungicide and other synthetic chemical. To be used for crop production or animal production, but the farmer still use a chemical fertilizer. Uh, that is 
uh, this step we call PFP or pesticide free production. Maybe in the, this step, uh, maybe uh, it's the transition period to be organic agriculture. Today I'd like to propose that uh, one thing that uh, if we are going to uh, to do the organic organic crop production or organic agriculture, uh, how the the farmer can be stop the agrochemical immediately. Sometimes it's not too easy or it's really difficult. So they can move, move to the, this step first, pesticide free production. And after that, we teach them how to maintain the soil fertility and others. And uh, during the time, after they can stop the chemical fertilizer application and pesticide. Uh, but in the, in, the, in the soil, they might be uh, have the toxic residue uh, in the soil. Uh, in this period, no agency go to certifi certification. So in this, this step, this step, we can say that this is trans transition period to be organic agriculture. We should uh, talk, this, this step should be, this step should be called non-agrochemical production or NAP. Uh, that means the farmer, uh, they never use, they stop to use the on agrochemical, on agrochemical. Uh, and after one year or two year, three year, the, the chemical that, uh, residual, toxic chemical residue in the soil may be gone or may be less and cannot fly in the uh, agricultural product. So the last step is the organic agriculture that we are uh, talking today. Organic agriculture, that means uh, we, uh, we have been planned uh, or the production without, uh, without the agrochemicals at all. But the farmer will be use the biofertilizer, biopesticide. That means bioherbicide, bioinsecticide, and uh, biofungicide, and other techniques. The research investigation uh, uh, that I said, I am one. I am the one of the research uh, that uh, have been done uh, to find out the bi bioresin products uh, to be used instead of the organic chemical. I, I have many staff from many country, and we work together. So the by uh, today we have the bio product for disease control. We have ketomium bio fungicide, and the other antagonists like Tychoderma. Cleocadium, Bacillus subtilis, and other for disease control. And uh, another uh, research finding is we have the uh, atomic metabolized, uh, small particle metabolized uh, that act as elicitor for pan immunity. Uh, another, another, thing, another thing is, another product is uh, about the uh, nematode control on bio nematicide. Uh, we also found the effective Pseudomyces verticillium Dactylella and so on. Uh, for insect pest control, uh, we have been uh, for the metallizing bivalia uh, to be used uh, uh, as a biological biological insect insect in insect design. And another thing is uh, we been uh, uh, we many many scientists have been work on the Bacillus thuringiensis or BT. Uh, that is uh, also uh, really effective control uh, some specific, specific in insect that and really powerful. Uh, the other, uh, the other is uh, about the mesoderon plant her or herb extract like neem, neem oils, and others uh, can repellent or can kill uh, insect as well. Uh, another thing is uh, natural sulfur, natural sulfur or uh, natural oil, white oil, uh, uh, can be controlled insect also. I will have, I will show you the, the other technique for insect control. So the bio product for pen growth and, and give a good yield. So that means we have bio fertilizers with different formulation. Bio fertilizer with high nitrogen, high phosphorus, high potassium. That, that I have done. And others, uh, bio nutrient uh, for the for the uh, plant nutrient and bio elimination, bio elimination to get rid of the toxic, uh, toxic chemical out of the soil and water is very important. And also 
uh, we're concerning about the organic matter, amino protein, uh, humid, and biochar. Uh, this lizard filing can be used instead of the chemical. Uh, the agricultural input which certify with the biological product are exceptional applied in organic farm like bio fertilizer, bio pesticide, including net how cultural practice, crop rotation, either cropping, uh, compost production, munching, medicinal plant herbs for indicated disease and insect pest protection. The recent investigation of biological products have been gathered related to organic farmer uh, that I have done. It's about the bio, bio fertilizer, bio fungicide, bio insecticide, and other bio products, uh, something like bio decomposer, compost production, bio fertilizer with high phosphorus, high potassium, and also bio nutrient. And uh, lastly, uh, it's about the microbial uh, metabolized for disease control and induce plant immunity. So another thing is uh, for the insect control, we can use a neem seed extract, medicinal plant or herb, repellent plant like marigold, repellent dematode, uh, light tap, yellow tap, philomone without chemical, natural sunflower, solar radiation, uh, natural, naturally wood vega, or naturally uh, ex extraction of the kaitosan. The other, te the other techniques are control practice in the cropping, organic amendment, and and also maintain the soil uh, pH, munching organic matter, and soil revitalization. I have been working about the microorganism, uh, including fungi, bacteria, uh, looking for the beneficial one to uh, for the disease control. And uh, and after that, uh, we also promote the organic uh, uh, vegetable or organic crop production. So in many countries, so this is the uh, organic uh, coffee. Uh, uh, the another uh, before this uh, organic coconut I have done in Myanmar and this is only coffee I have um, I'm the consultant in uh, in Laos so, so this is organic tea that I have done in uh, Vietnam and also in uh, China so at the same time we also have the organic agriculture model that uh, I uh, do I uh, Sacrifice for the sacrifice this work for the association of chemical technology in South Asia. So we also the, do the organic uh, and also certify uh, by bio acquired from iPhone. Uh, we also have <laughs> done about that. So uh, we can say that the now we have the uh, bio fertilizer used to be different formulation used to be instead of the chemical fertilizer. We have the uh, bio Fungicide like ketomium uh, tachyderma. We have bio insecticide, bio nematicide, uh, bio herbicide, and also uh, plant growth promoting microorganism. Uh, and as well as that, uh, we are. I'm going to. I'm now doing research on the organic seed or organic animal feed, and this is uh, very important in the future. And also mushroom production it can be included in organic, and also uh, uh, do research for resistant variety but without GMO, the naturally selection. So the, um, in the, uh, at, at for the animal uh, production, organically, uh, we have the organic animal feed. Uh, we, we must do research on the organic meal, organic beef, organic chim, organic chicken, organic egg, organic food processing, and also looking for the organic market. So the, uh, I have done the uh, different formulation of the uh, this is, uh, I will not talk in detail, but I can say that uh, we are going to, prom uh, to promote the organic crop production. We have to adjust the soil, pH proper to plant growth, uh, to uh, like for instance, the, adjust the soil until pH 6 and also add the, uh, add the uh, organic uh, fertilizer, uh, something like that, and use plastic sheet uh, to like soil solarization to control the seed of weed and some uh, pen pathogen uh, and after that uh, we make the soil very well uh, become soy will become uh, good soy or we call organic soy uh, the organic soy uh, that mean uh, soy will be high fertility high or high organic matter uh, neutral soy pH and uh, good drainage and will be uh, high organic matter is about uh, over 10% so 
uh, less, not less than 5%. So that is going to be successfully. So the most important thing is that we have to adjust the soil to proper uh, the pH. pH of the soil should be proper for the plant growth. Uh, so if pH 6.5 or 6.8, they can absorb the naturally uh, nutrient uh, very well and plant will grow very well. This is one of my research. We call biodecomposer. I can include the different uh, species of enzymatic fungi that produce uh, enzyme. Uh, like cellulase, ligninase, protease, lipase, uh, to degrade organic, to, to degrade uh, plant uh, methylene or plant rabies become uh, organic and animal dung. So we have been uh, done, uh, promoted uh, in Laos, in Myanmar, in Thailand, in China, or uh, in Vietnam, uh, and also in Cambodia. Uh, uh, let the farmer try to produce a good organic fertilizer. Uh, this is uh, we are going to promote the uh, farmer uh, to be to use to produce the organic fertilizer. Actually, I have the uh, different formulation to make the to make the uh, organic uh, fertilizer with different uh, different different formulation. That means high end organic fertilizer, high phosphorus organic fertilizer, high potassium. We have really really uh, limited time. We can talk uh, outside <laughs> uh, later. Just let you know what I do. So they after that, that we uh, improve the soil with good pH and good organic matter, and you know this kind of worm will be coming. This is a good one. They will be coming a lot. Uh, that means indicator. So sometimes we prepare the uh, the the plant bed like this. We have the cover uh, for protect sunlight or some rain, uh, something like that. Yeah? So many many techniques or something we munching with the sunlight straw or plastic sheet. Uh, this is organic, organic production. So uh, another thing is the water. Water is also very important to, for the organic crop production or uh, organic animal production. Should be uh, uh, not uh, the, the water should should be clean or non toxic chemical residue uh, in the water. We have to consider very well also. And uh, this is just show you that uh, another uh, uh, this is. Of plant, that is the plant deficiency. So the plant deficiency that means the soil is not good, not good soil. So we have to uh, make the soil very really well, and to and the pH uh, really proper. So we we can uh, get rid of uh, the or avoid the nutrient deficiency of the plant. This is a bio decomposer that I promoted in, in many countries. That I said in China, Vietnam, Laos, Thai, Cambodia, and other countries. So. Um, the another thing is the my work about the uh, biological fungicide. It's about the ketomium. Uh, actually, the ketomium has been uh, working uh, over 30 years until now. I still uh, development the ketomium as the bio fungicide for a broad spectrum disease control. That means the many strain of the ketomium. Uh, ketomium is a fungus, and they have produced a lot of, they have produced uh, uh, a lot of the new antibiotic substance like ketocobosin C, rhodiolino, and others. And uh, this is uh, can be controlled the phytopathogen like Phytophthora, uh, Cholecticum, and other, and also anti tuberculosis and Candida albicans human pathogen. I have not only two species; I have about eight species at least. Uh, that we have published, we have do, done research the, uh, of the ketomium. Uh, this is the ketomium cobosum. We have twin strain. We have ketomium cuplem. It like this. Uh, this is spore. Uh, this is spore. This is culture. So this is the different kind of the ketomium species. Uh, different kind of ketomium species that active already uh, do research and already published that they have the uh, really good make really good compounds and can anti-human pathogen and also pen pathogen as well. So uh, this is the control mechanism of the ketomium. So I formulation this one to be liquid formulation and powder formulation. Uh, application rate is about 50 gram or 50 ml per 20 liter of water and spray. And this is a, a super ketomium that we have been uh, registration in Laos, in China, in Cambodia, in Vietnam. and this is the we use to control uh, several diseases, uh, several diseases, and also we have taikoderma. 
ไตรโคโดมาฟอร์แพลนโกดแอนดิสิสคอนโทรลแอนดิสิสวีพับบิชอินเจอร์นอลแมสเปกโตอินเดียบ2000ดิสิสไมสเตรนวีคอนไตรโคโดมาฮาฮาเซียนัมพีซีซีโลวันแอนเดียดิสวันวีโปรโมททูเดอะฟาร์เมอร์ทูวียูสแอนเดอร์แอนเดอร์โปรดักต์อีสบาวเดอะไบโอนิทริชันอีสบาวเอ่อ Uh, we have the l o d o s u r u m a n a t e and uh, actinomyces uh, act as the p a n g o o d stimulant and uh, with uh, amino and this is also really good uh, product and uh, uh, you can see uh, we on you see this is organic another thing the last one that the, I have the atomic elicitor m i c r o b i a l is for plant immunity this is the pure compound uh, of the uh, ketomium and others in each pure compound I, I, I In each pure compound, they are active against human pathogen and also uh, phytopathogen as well. So in each pure compound, I put in electron spinning uh, without other, uh, so they become very really fine particles. And after that, uh, we have a lot of the non, a lot of the fine particle, uh, fine particle. Uh, after we pass to electron spinning, and this fine particle, after we uh, treat to the plant, they lead the induce the immunity in the plant. Uh, we have done a lot already in chili, in tomato, in rice, in durian, in uh, banana, in uh, papaya. Uh, so many. Uh, this one, and uh, this is uh, just show you. The, uh, this is for insect. For insect, also we have different kind uh, of uh, insect control. Uh, this is they use a plastic pot uh, during seeding state uh, to avoid insect come come to destroy. See, or sometimes they use a small net like this to avoid insect. And we also have the yellow tap, uh, yellow tap, or we have predator naturally coming to our farm. Yeah, predator, a lot of predator come to our farm. Uh, friendly, our friendly, uh, and this is predator. And also, you see, you see the spider. This is not insect. This is spider, and also yeah, this one dragonfly, and uh, we also wrap with plastic, uh, plastic wrap uh, with some fruit uh, to avoid insect. To protect insect, and also we make the something like the uh, wood wood wire, na wood wire, uh, also also. Uh, but should be the wood should be uh, come from the not not from the toxic one. Should be naturally. Uh, then uh, and a lot of the uh, uh, material or machine uh, to insect for insect trap. So many. This one also like insect trap also. Uh, but uh, I have been uh, I have the b i r o d f u n g i c i d e including m e t a l i z e m and b i v i l i a to control some insect specific insect also, uh, and uh, this is uh, already promoted in uh, many country. Uh, this is uh, and also b i o n e m a t i c i d e uh, I also have uh, for insect control like m i l o r e g a i r o t n o t i m a t o d and uh, the research contribution for organic agriculture. So after the after that, the, I have been the, become the consultant of the. Uh, many company to produce the organic composition, and also we mostly we uh, is will be certified by by o a g i s e r i p h o n e and sent in supermarket uh, in Thailand. Uh, and uh, we also have the organic agriculture farm uh, in Thailand to 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 be the uh, let the people come for training. And also I go to give a presentation in Vietnam in uh, many country. Uh, about the organic agricultural production, this is uh, in China. We have the bio, uh, my bio product in China. Uh, this one and this is uh, we promotion in Thailand. All the member in Thailand uh, to produce the organic c o m p o s i t i o n and uh, deliver to the company and send in supermarket. And also, the, I accept the training uh, program, training student from many country like from Laos, Myanmar, Cambodia, Philippines, Indonesia, Vietnam, and others, even from Russia. And uh, I also going, uh, invited uh, uh, to promote organic agriculture in China. Like we have the uh, we ha we have we do the uh, tea organic tea in China. And this is uh, uh, we I go out to promote the farmer produce how to produce the organic fertilizer use the bio d e c o m p o s e r This is in Vietnam. Uh, this is uh, in Thailand. In other. Uh, And uh, teach them how to improve the soil, how to prepare the good soil for organic crop production. And this is uh, uh, ex uh, explain or presentation to the farmer how to use the bio products. 
and then uh, some of the my bio product also uh, certify as the external input by Archisearch, by by bio Archisearch iPhone, and this is the uh, organic papaya. Let you see organic uh, onion, and this on on you see this organic, see yard long bean, cucumber, uh, kale, uh, that is, and also the uh, mushroom production and. Another thing is uh, we also concerning or we are doing research on the organic seed production. This is the we try to study on the uh, sweet uh, put sweet uh, corn seed yeah? and other other kind of seed. Yeah? The organic seed that it very important when the farmer uh, when he they are starting to do organic where they can find the organic seed that is uh, very important. I like everybody. Uh, think about that also. We should be do research more and help each other. And also the we also the promote the organic chicken and organic egg uh, in some area in Thailand and also uh, organic pork, uh, organic pig. Now that means we have organic pork. Uh, now we have the Etsy organic farm model in Thailand that I have the sacrifice uh, this farm to be uh, for training and for do research and organic in practical way. Uh, we have about 10 hectares. I welcome everybody to visit my farm also. So the, we, win, uh, we also have, uh, in my, this is in my farm also, uh, doing the organic sweet, uh, sweet potato and others. Huh? So the most uh, important one is uh, about the organic certification. Uh, as, as far as I, I know, uh, there are about uh, different level uh, in country level. We can say country organic certify, and the most uh, famous one all over the world that is the International Federation of Organic Agriculture Movement or IFOM that certify organically certified by I Bio Research, Organic USDA, the Jazz from Japan, and other and Association uh, of Agricultural Technology Institute or SC also start for organic certify, but not too much work. So the SC is a non profitable organization that I, I am the president, and uh, we are going, we are doing research uh, how to do the uh, how to, how for the crop and animal production without a, a, a chemical application, something like that. We are a group of scientists from about uh, at least eighteen countries, eighteen countries, and then uh, every year we have a meeting. Uh, this is the SC. We try to help the people. Uh, we are going to 30, 35. That means that we are going to we try to promote the people to do the organic, just like that. And uh, this is uh, just some ex example that the SC uh, certify uh, organically uh, in some farm. Uh, the regulation is almost the same with iPhone and organic USDA. And uh, so organic production would manage after the market demand. The only shop and home delivery would also be start for marketing promotion. The training center for organic agriculture would be organized at organic farm to gain knowledge, basis commercial skill. That is the very important. And this, uh, uh, I do the, this one, the organic uh, flower uh, in China. And after that, they are dry and they can drink uh, for health. And uh, this is the uh, organic tea in China that I have done. And uh, this is uh, in Cambodia. I also promote. promote. And uh, now I'm working with uh, some company in Thailand that mostly we uh, prefer the iPhone or bio acquisition for organic certified and sell in supermarket and also export to uh, some country. So now uh, this is the uh, organic quality. How is this? It's not, uh, I think the, the quality, quantity and quality can be at can be as the same as the chemical one. Thank you for your attention. I would like to give this to the organizing committee uh, to support and organize this conference successfully. And thanks to all participants. Thank you. Sawadee kap.